right, so I want to welcome all of you to Biology Laboratory. Um, all of you have come for your first day, so you've met your teaching assistants who will actually serve as your instructors. So these are the individuals who will be grading your papers, they'll be giving you assignments, they'll be writing your quizzes, and they're the people that you need to be communicating with on a weekly, if not day-to-day -day basis. So my job is to coordinate all of you as students as well as all of them as uh, graduate students who are teaching you. So my name, by the way, in case you don't know who I am, is Dr. Sherry Krajewski Self, and people call me either Dr. Sherry or Dr. Self, either of those are fine, whichever you like. And uh, as the coordinator of the lab, it's my job to determine how many labs we're gonna do and what topics we're going to cover and to some end, I dictate to the teaching assistants um, how many quizzes you have to have, um, how many lab write-ups you have to do. So they have to give you, for instance, a lab write-up with certain labs, and they have to give you quizzes with certain labs. Now they have 100 points that they distribute as they see fit. Those 100 points are, are worth a lot. And so you want to make sure that you're participating in the lab because that's what they are going to be most interested in. Now, most of you have already seen this book. So if you want to close in on the book so we can get a view of it. So this is the book that we'll be using and you cannot use any other text. All right. There are older versions of the text, but they will not work. And you've already gone through sort of the, the pre lab pre-manual so you've read up until page one and this coming week you're going to read from page one which you're looking at right here to page 10 so you're going to read all of lab one okay and so now if you'll zoom back out all right i'm going to tell you a little bit about what lab one uh, is going to require from you so lab one is really looking at the scientific method in action. It's looking at how do we go from observation to a hypothesis, which is basically an answer to a question, and then test the answer to that question. How does that happen? And then once we have tested the answer to that question, what conclusions can we draw? And what conclusions are too far? They're more, we're trying to have more conclusions than are reasonable. And to do that, there's a few things we have to do. So you need to read the material. Your uh, instructor will probably go over with you the scientific method briefly. They'll talk to you about what a null and an alternative hypothesis are. And they'll talk to you about doing statistical tests, which is mathematical tests, to support or to not support your hypothesis, okay? Now, if you read through, right when you get to the last page, page nine, you're gonna see a part that says, take action. In every lab, when you see the words, take action, what you know is that this is what we're going to do. In this particular case, there, we are going to work with an animal model. Now, you still need to read the plant model. And your TAs may give you some homework that work with the examples that are in the boxes in the written laboratory. They want you to know what is the independent variable. They want you to know what the dependent variable is. They want you to know what variables are, what a control group is, what an experimental group is. They want you to know all of those things so that you're ready then to design an experiment. The reason you need to read the plant model is because it's going to describe the steps you need to take in order to make your observations, ask your question, okay, and then answer your question, form a hypothesis, and test your question. So while the plant model you need to read through, it is the animal model that we will all actually be working with this semester. So if you'll come a little closer and take a look at what I have here, these are mealworms, okay? So they are little worms. They won't hurt you, they actually tickle when you put them in your hands, okay? And they feed them to birds, all right? If you uh, let them stay around long enough, they will actually uh, ultimately morph and form little beetles, 
okay? They like to eat grain and cereals, and to get their water, they will have fruits or potatoes, so you may find some apples or some potatoes in here. And what you're gonna do is each group is gonna take a few mealworms, probably say somewhere around 10 mealworms, and you're gonna put them into a dish and you're gonna observe them. You're gonna watch the things that they do. And you're going to have in the lab a heating pad, you're gonna have some ice packs, you're gonna have colored paper, you're gonna have some water, you'll have textured things like sandpaper and regular tissue paper and paper towels. And one of the things that mealworms do is they move. They don't move very fast and they don't move very far, but they do move. And there's things that they like and there's things that they don't like. And so what I want you to do is to observe what these worms do, ask questions, form an answer, form an experiment to test the hypothesis that is the answer that you've got, do the experiment, make sure that you have measurements, so you have to measure something in numbers, you have to measure how far the mealworm moves, or how many times it wiggles, or some sort of something that is measurable in numbers, and then you use those numbers to run a t-test, and then you decide, well, can I accept my hypothesis or do I have to reject it, okay? And then once you have accepted or rejected your hypothesis, you're not done, you have to actually draw conclusions from what you have either supported or not supported, depending on the case, all right? So make sure that you are ready. If you don't like bugs, um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, bugs are fun biology things. These don't bite. You're not allergic to them. Okay, you can eat them actually. I don't suggest you do it because they won't taste very good until they're cooked, but you could eat them, all right? So um, I'm looking forward to you guys having a good time in lab. And with that, I will see you next week.